What's up guys, Star Snipe here, gonna be doing a, uh, well actually I'm gonna be starting a brand new series and it is uh, called Redstone Corner, hopefully I stay true to this one, unlike uh, every other series I've ever started in Minecraft, you know, so uh, today it's gonna be the first episode pretty much, it is just going to cover the basics, so Pretty much redstone is like the wiring of Minecraft. You can place it on anything and it can also go up surfaces like so. Alright, not too hard. You can't put it on you cannot put it on sides of blocks, but if you put it on a side it'll go actually on the flat. There's some mods for vertical redstone, but that's different. Alright, next. This is a redstone torch. What it does is it powers all redstone. And then the current goes through for... Let's see if I can show it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and the current actually, as you can see, dies after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks of transmitting the current dies and it slowly becomes less faded to show that you are getting farther away now then let's just show an example here uh i'll be using redstone lamps to display this because they're the easiest and yeah so let me just find one real quick i know it's somewhere up here i'm being derp derptastic here uh, uh <laughs> are you kidding me no, no, I'll find this, I'll find this, I'm not, I, I swear I'm not that stupid. I know it's near the redstone section of things. Oh, oh there's the redstone lamp, looks kind of different. Won't be using TNT until maybe the end. So pretty much it can travel 15 blocks and be fine. And as you can see, it lights that block up. And it needs, the, the power circuit needs to go directly lead to that. So if you put it there, it reverts, as you can see, which is weird in a way. But if you put it right there, you know, there's still another path branching off. So in Wades, you could have three redstone lamps going like so. But should it go one more, then the power will no longer be present. And as you can see, it does not light up. I, I'm not sure about this, but I think the closer you are to the source, the more bright it is. I'm not totally sure about this. This is something I might have noticed. Let's just see if there's a gradual... Oh, god, what the hell? Oh yeah, because of that. <laughs> it's just... Uh, here, let me just do this then. So then... I'm not sure, that's just the suspicion, but I guess not. I could probably look that up on the wiki later. So yeah, it goes to some appliances, it will link to them, but apparently redstone lamps are not one of the new ones. Now then, the thing about redstone that is like redstone lamps that is special is that it actually, it acts as glass, as you can hear when I break it, it acts as glass, making it a translucent block, which allows redstone to pass through the corners because it is transparent in a way. So. And, but it you are allowed to place redstone on it for redstone wiring purposes. So uh, let's see if I could show this. I'm not. Maybe they patched it. Yeah, I think they patched. It. I know there was an old trick. Apparently not anymore. Uh, let me just check here. Just click that. Huh. Apparently they patched it. Uh, sorry about wasting your time there. But there used to be an old thing with that. Probably patched. So. Those are, you know, the basics with redstone, how far they can go. And the uh, next thing that happens in redstone is uh, there, there are two types of just basic blocks that are used in almost everything. There is the inverter, which looks like this. Oh, let's just, let me just kill this thing real quick. He's being annoying. Eh. Okay, he's far enough away. So, yeah. As you can see, this is what is known as an inverter. So the signal right now is positive, coming from a negative state or a off state, also in binary. Redstone is like binary, it's either in the off or on state. So should we flip that switch, it 
revert it will invert and one of the uses of this actually I will introduce in a bit and then next we also have ah my god these things are so annoying and next what we have is actually then what used to happen in old minecraft was where you would have to put two of these consecutively next to each other to form a what is now known as a repeater because what this is is a you know stuff stuff like that uh, <laughs> just yeah that, that distracted so this is how you would have to make a repeater back then so if you do that it is on and so is the end signal it turns off and so is the end signal now there's a much simpler way but it also adds delays just like the old ones did and it is called a redstone repeater now then as you can see this is like that because the starting signal signal and the end signal are the same so light that on goes through but as you can see there's a slight delay if you just know this right there look quickly like a millisecond delay or something like that because what this does it can add a delay so let's just put that over four clicks and it is four clicks away I forget what the actual time is used as so then you could have multiple of these like that oh yeah four and then let's just it, it will take a second for the signal to respond so from start to finish as you can see it takes a while to get there and another use of the redstone repeater is actually to help a signal go through a block as you can see there that is what happens because let's just try this two ways we will have it like that and when we press this switch it only travels with the redstone repeater I, I'm not sure why this works it's something in the coding because normally you could just do that in both situations but where this becomes useful is where oh no that's a wrong thing where if you have let's just say a wall like so and you want to get a signal over to the other side you know what it will work with a repeater and that is one of its uh, uses aside from another one that is known as a clock uh, I, I'm not sure I remember how to construct this it's just a rough estimate and as you can see just to you know works and also uh, wait yeah, my mouse was being stupid. Yeah, okay. So I just had to check something. Next is a clock, which can be built in a couple ways. Uh, the most basic clock uh, is that? Yeah, I think that's the right way. So the most basic clock is like so. Let's just put that like that. And then what you can actually do with this is make somewhat of a circuit which allows for a delay in timing to happen consistently so just do that and then at the end let's just say we want this to be for example a lighting signal just put that out of the way and then if I do this correctly oop, oop, let's just put a redstone lamp here to signify what will happen so just give me a sec here nah. just make this work out uh, damn it. No, I'll make this a lot more simple than it has to be actually as simple as it can be you know there we have a block to signify so uh, it's becoming nighttime this will be stupid but whatever you know what and then let's just say that's the other side of the wall and then that is for example where a switch is so we just do no 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 boom boom activate switch damn it I forgot to add the redstone I'm an idiot Woo. and then as you can see it completes the circuit thus adding to that so where this would be used uh, damn it I messed up 
because what is supposed to happen is that it is supposed to be used with a button. I'm almost positive. Wait, I'm I'm forgetting something important here. Uh, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be used with a button because otherwise it will become stuck in said state. So click the button. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Click the button, travels through, and it keeps repeating like so. So the light will flash on and off, and this is one of the uses of this. So as you can see, it is a clock, and then let's just adjust the times. One, two, three, 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 one, two, And then that's the amount of, as you can see, it is somewhat of a slower clock now that the circuit in a way is consistent. And so the gap of time that it is off is that. So that could be inverted in a way using our good friend here, known only as the inverter. So just make this like so. Let's put a, uh, uh, can you give me a sec, I'm sorry. Let's just put the redstone thing right there. And then if this works right, it'll be inverted and it will only flash for a small amount of time. That frame, so to speak. So this could be, you know, all these ingredients could be used in many different ways. This is just basic, sort of, like, no going into gates yet, which uh, I'll do right now, actually. So you know, that's the basics right there. What they can be used for, sort of, one of the more advanced things is uh, timed lighter. Well, not lighter, but you know what I mean. So next, some of the more advanced stuff where it gets is there are two basic gates in Minecraft. They are logic gates, the and or gates. Now then, how what this happens is that let me just construct these two really quick. These are just the minimum of how they must be constructed. So that that boom boom. And here we have an or gate. And then here, what we have is a boop, boop, and boop. Add the redstone. There. This can also be used as an inverter in a way. So, pretty much, here's how it goes. Get out of here, creeper. My god, if you blows this up, I will be angry. Can I, I'll, I'm going to go to peaceful real quick. Just turn off mobs so this is a lot easier. Alright, so this is what is known as the AND gate. Pretty simple, not too complicated really. Let um, me just put a block here for good measure. Eh, I hate my mouse wheel sometimes. Alright, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, damn it, I'm being stupid. No, damn it, my mouse wheel. There we go. All right. So pretty much what the AND gate is, is where two things must be on, just like in math, how that is true. You turn one on. I mean, if you turn one of the top switches off, the charge here is, let me just uh, actually put a redstone lamp to signify whether said thing is on or off. Let me just do that. Boom. Boom. So just sort of to signify separate rooms, maybe. Just do that, that. Oh god, I'm stupid. Uh, do, do, do. And that's one of the uses of blocks is that it can block off a signal going anywhere. So let's just do this to signify what will happen. All right. So as you can see here, what we have is two gates. Then. What we have here is an AND gate, where if both things are true, the it is considered true. So let's do that. Boom, it's true. Only one, it is no longer true. Both off, no longer true. So both switches are on. The charge coming out of it will also be on. Because what this does, it's sort of like a double inverter in a way where it is... It could be, it's useful in the construction of locks, in the, the case where, you know, you want, you need two things to be positive. So let's just say two hidden switches to be positive to open a door. And next, what we have here is our good friend, the OR gate. 
Now then, let me just reroute this to that. Uh, and okay, uh, let's not do that. Actually, I'm stupid. Uh, all right, you want pretty much. See, you can construct them in any way, but this is the basic way of constructing one. Well, this is the basic and minimal size to construct one. So pretty much what this does is, if one thing is true, the charge will be, well that, this is in terms of mathematics, but what it does is, if you char, if you send a uh, redstone charge, I'm just calling it charge, it's for current, it's, it's really current, but I just call it charge, uh, to one, it will stay positive, even though, for example, it is a button. So click that, and it stays positive. I mean, that's why I'm going to call it positive and negative, just because I've been learning a lot in the science lately. So that is what happens, as you can see. It will. It needs only a burst of current, and then for some reason, I can't explain why, but it's because of. I think it's a. I think it'd be a paradox. I'm not sure that it will stay, even though there is no current going through. So then. What uh, this is actually useful for is I'll just reroute this over here. Just give me a second. No, no, no. And uh, this has to be going straight to that black, just uh, the way it is. Let me just no. My God. Uh, doo -doo. There we go. Just check this. Yeah. So what this can be useful for is whenever you want one charge like it's useful for a lot of things the most basic is a reset button and it's specifically button so you know it looks cleaner and there's no nasty lever so uh, let me just use a lamp to demonstrate but this could also be used with a door so let's just say you want your lamp on instead of having a switch you could have buttons to turn on your lighting systems and if, should you want to turn it off you can turn it off using the second button. So this could be practical in, actually let me try this, boom, boom, in that two switches could in a way be on top of each other. One will turn it on and the other one turns it off. And then what you could do, oh yes, and redstone lamps also carry a current, but only for two blocks. So in a way this will work as you can see put one there, it does not. It will only go one adjacent to one of its sides, not its diagonals. And, uh, whew, what next? I mean, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, yes. And in the way, they can also be used like that to stack a current. So then, it carries a current to other lights, but as you can see, it does not carry it to other redstone wires. Even though it is passing through, it does not. But, theoretically, use a repeater in this situation, and not only will it light up the lamp, it will also light up the current going through it. So this could be used well for sort of a hidden, like, uh, let's see, this is a, I guess this would be a way to construct it in a way sort of like that. Have it be floor lighting, and so when you do something right to open, say, a door, the floor, the path to there will light up in a fairly simple setup where you just have redstone wiring on one side and a redstone repeater on the other side. So then you have glass here. The redstone is very helpful for adventure maps. So then you can also use this to make multiple AND gates. And you know what, that's I'm not going to show you that now, but that is just basics for redstone. You know what each thing does, how it does it, you know and pretty much explaining most of the basic parts. Try not to get too advanced. This is just basic redstonery. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, You know the series. Hopefully it will stay, 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 stay. And uh, we'll try to actually make some inventions next time, sort of. So thank you for watching, guys, and see you later.